Hello my dear students, welcome back to this video, this episode of the video, okay? So, on the last video, we talked about the registration and the login. Now, on this video, I would like to do something real quick, okay? I would like to include what is called Axios, okay? And we have Ajax and we also have Axios. Okay, so Access is a promise-based HTTP client for browser and for Node.js. So if you don't know about Axios, I would urge you to just Google Axios to JS. Okay, and you're going to see that right away. And if you cool using jQuery and Ajax, you can actually do that. Well, I just kind of like the way Axios works. Okay, and it it lets you write async await code to perform an XHR request very easily okay you can see that right here and it supports all modern browsers including support for Internet Explorer 8 and higher so I think that's one reason for us to use Axios I actually like the async await functionality okay and it has this cool effect to our uh, what's it called page more like you see in the YouTube effect whereby the speed loading pace okay the page loading pace you actually see the page loading pace in the top section of your browser so right about now you just have to go to the documentation and read that it's really a lengthy one okay so to make things a little bit much easy my dear students I decided to create an Axios setup folder okay and here there's a readme file that comes with a kind of guide on how to um load this up okay if you go to the documentation it's really long to set up but i just want to save us the headache okay so we have the access loader css access loader mean the js and access loader the js and after loading up this resource you just have to include the script afterwards so first of all we just have to copy the two javascript file and go back to our what's it called project in our public with the assets and in JS, we're just gonna paste that right there. Okay, so we have that. You close these guys up. Okay, close these guys up. And this guy. Okay, and this guy. This guy. Okay. So let's just close this guy. Right. Now, later we just have to copy this. We are doing that right now. In the CSS, Control V. Great and then we have to include this somewhere okay so but well first we just have to go to index okay right here in index or in the main layout sorry i think that would be nice and the main layout the way we include this other javascript resource right here we're just going to do it right now so like this we're going to have um in js Axios right here. Axios don't mean the JS. Axios don't mean the JS. And then we are going to have um Axios loaded the JS. Okay. And in the star section, okay, we are going to include Axios loader dot CSS and afterwards we just have to copy this script tag and place it right here okay I think we can just do it right here okay my dear students I hope that was actually simple enough okay so what I'm gonna do right now is to go to the browser and go back to this page that's uh login page and click on create one yeah that's create a new account I'm gonna view page source right now and make sure that the Axios loader CSS is loading correctly so since I'm seeing this um, CSS right resource right here it means that's loaded up and for the Axios loader JS and for the mean so it's loading up correctly so I'm gonna test run Axios to make sure that it's set up properly okay and how I'll do that is to go to register okay so quickly I'm just gonna give this an ID say register 
or I'm gonna say I'm gonna use a DOM event say on submit okay return a function called register user register user so we're gonna create the function right away okay and I'm gonna pass in an event right there okay and right here I'm gonna say section we're gonna start a new section and this time around it's going to be the script section okay so I'm gonna start the script tag right there and I'm going to say function okay pass in the function name accept the event parameter event the prevent default okay and then I'm going to say axios dot get I'm not gonna pass anything I'm just gonna say dot then dot then and I'm going to use the fat arrow function okay and say maybe data and I'm going to say console log data right there okay so what we have right here is for this section okay if you go to the main we have script yield script right here okay so just like we did for the yield content we are going to start a new section called script great so we have a function register user and on submit of this form do that so i'm just going to have a type submit to this button okay and then go back to the page hopefully if we don't have an error this works just fine now if you notice just because of the background color just notice on this top section right here you see there's a movement and there's something rolling right there okay so that's because of the color I have in the Axios um, loader right here okay so if you feel like you can change it okay to something darker okay choose and we're just gonna use that let's just play around with this you can leave like that if you want to I just feel like messing around with it okay so let's just see how this goes okay so that's bad i'm just gonna go back the way it is great guys so this video was just to include axios okay into our project and we see that it's actually working but if i check the console right here it's actually not doing anything important okay so next session of the video we are going to start creating users and validating users input using axios and laravel okay so see you on the next video Bye bye